Can you imagine how amazing it must have been to live in the time of Moses and the exodus from Egypt? To be experiencing amazing miracles on a daily basis, miracle after miracle. To see the water turn to blood, the Egyptians chasing at your heels, the sea splits right before your eyes. To be on Mount Sinai and receive the Torah in all its wonderment. When they entered the desert, they were surrounded by the clouds of glory. They were guided through the night with a giant pillar of fire. They were fed every morning with the heavenly manna. Now we come to this week's Parsha, Parsha Shlach. They're about to enter the land of Israel. They asked Moses if they can send in 10 spies, 10 of the great leaders of the generation, to check out the land to see if it's good. To see if it's good? They questioned Hashem's gift of the land? How could this be? The same God that had just performed the most amazing miracles for them. Where had their awesome faith gone? Moses grants the request. The ten great leaders enter the land of Israel, and all but two, Yoshua and Kaleb, return with evil reports, damaging gossip about the land of Israel, the holy land of milk and honey. How could this be? How could they not trust in God? The same people, the same God that had just performed amazing, amazing miracles for the children of Israel. The Slonim Rebbe, a great commentator of our Holy Torah, explains, these were holy men. They realized that life in the desert had been a life of total reliance on God and His miracles. A life of total God consciousness without any barriers, any distractions. Once they entered the land of Israel, these miracles would stop. They would have to find God in their everyday life. They would be faced with new challenges. They would be tested with their desire for physical pleasures, wealth, and honor. The spies wanted to make a battle plan for the Jewish people. But sadly, they had no faith in their ability to lead us. And they had no faith in the Jewish people's ability to overcome these challenges. But God never lost faith in the Jewish people. He always knew that our role in this world was to enjoy the physical world, to be a light among the nations, to elevate this world to holiness. How do we do that? By enjoying an amazing Shabbos meal with the, the most delicious food, the finest wines and desserts, by dancing at a wedding till all hours of the night, just to bring joy to a bride and groom, by realizing that just as the clouds of glory, the pillar of fire, and the heavenly manna were all gifts from Hashem, so too everything in our lives is a gift from God. God is always there providing for us, guiding us, and loving us. Our challenge is to take the physical world, enjoy this world, to seek out Hashem in our everyday lives, to use the gifts to create a world of holiness so that He can bring the Mashiach and build the third and final temple speedily and in our days. Good job.